Hello Internet. Today I'm going to show you my mobile office van built for built under thirty dollars. Here it is. I have some boards here. I got I, I had these lying around my house. And here's the other one. I have chop I chopped off the edge there so it's not a square and so you can still use this door. And this is a 1996 Dodge Caravan, by the way. Here's a cabinet I picked up for about a buck at a thrift store. Works great. The drawers close really hard, so you know it's it, so they won't open when you're driving. Um, everything is just screwed in with inch and a half long wood screws into the through, into the plastic of the car. So you know we got the screws on this side, and then we got the cup holders here. And then it had, and then the biggest expense was about twenty-seven dollars for a little three hundred watt Chinese inverter from eBay. So that was, you know, the, that was really the big thing that I bought for this project. And most everything else I already had lying around my house. So I, you know, I can power my laptop in here, um, and I have this monitor here. It's mounted in with a couple screws that go straight to the bottom. One of the next things I'm gonna do is take all those screws and just chop them off flat so you know you don't get stabbed with them and here is a keyboard I have ju I just went the heck with it and I drilled through it with a couple screws to mount it here I have a USB connector hooked up to the USB on the inverter so it provides up to two amps of power to charge my phone um, this is a an office chair. I got it out from, from the back alley of the place I work. They were throwing it away. And for this board, I didn't even cut it. It was just the perfect length of this car. I have an old chunk of 2x4 there that is screwed in and provides some support. It's actually strong enough I can put I can sit my put all my, my entire body weight on this board and it won't bend or anything. So in back here I have some junk. This is my tool kit. This is a jug of baking soda water to um, get the corrosion off my batteries. It happens an awful lot when I'm running the inverter, it seems like. So that's, and over here I have a little cheap um, power splitter there just so I can plug in my laptop power supply which has its own, um, which has a DC input as well as having the inverter running. So now we go up to the front here and up here I have a little screen and uh, I didn't pay anything for this, I just had it lying around. It's, you know, like 320 pixels or whatever by 240 and behind that, it, you see, it, it sits in there, it's a perfect size, It doesn't. E I don't use any fasteners. In there I have a Raspberry Pi computer and a Linksys WRT 54G router which conveniently can take power directly from the 12 volt socket in my car. It doesn't require any kind of filtering and handles it all just fine. And then over here on the side I have a USB port that is hooked into the Raspberry Pi so I can plug in a keyboard, mouse, whatever. So, and you can see, you know, I took out the radio, the thing stopped working, you know, it's an old car. The radio stopped working a few years ago, well, I don't know how long ago, and uh, so that's what you saw in the back. I threw that out, and it, I take it out of here and put in a bunch of other cool stuff. So this just kind of, just kind of fits in. It's and it's amazing how secure it, it, it feels when it's in there. So, you know, it came with a, with a review camera. I might put that on the back of my car sometime, but I haven't yet. So, that's just about it. I was thinking, you know, it seems like I can run stuff for an hour or two, you know, without... And I don't have to worry about running out of power. It's, it doesn't seem to draw more than my battery can provide for a while. So, that's just about it. So, this is my mobile office van for under $30.